O Lord, open our lips, and we shall declare your praise. O Lord, open our lips, and we shall declare your praise.
As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he wills. As the Father raises the 
dead and gives them life. So the Son gives life to whom he wills. Who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he wills. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness. As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he wills. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he wills. Because of this God greatly exalted him and bestowed upon him the name that is above every name. As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he wills, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he wills. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he wills. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he will.
at all. I will lift up my eyes at the name of the one who knows me well. The have I seen A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh, could not do, sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and to deal with sin, he condemned sin in the flesh, so that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. 
But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. To set the mind on flesh is death. But to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. You are in the spirit, since the spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is life because of righteousness. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if, in fact, we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. Word of the Lord. from an ancient homily on Holy Saturday. Something strange is happening. There is a great silence on the earth today, a great silence and stillness. The whole earth keeps silence because the king is asleep. The earth trembled and is still because God has fallen asleep in the flesh and he has raised up all who have slept ever since the world began. God has died in the flesh and hell trembles with fear. He has gone to search for our first parent as for a lost sheep greatly desiring to visit those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death, he has gone to free from sorrow the captives Adam and Eve. He who is both God and son of Eve. The Lord approached them bearing the cross, the weapon that had won him the victory. At the sight of him, Adam, the first man he created, struck his breast in terror and cried out to everyone, My Lord be with you all. 
Christ answered him, and with your spirit. He took him by the hand and raised him up, saying, Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. I am your God, who for your sake have become your son. Out of love for you and your descendants, I now, by my own authority, command all who are held in bondage to come forth, all who are in darkness to be enlightened, and all who are sleeping to arise. I order you, O sleeper, to awake. I did not create you to be held a prisoner in hell. Rise up from the dead, for I am the life of the dead. Rise up, work of my hands, you who were created in my image. Rise, let us leave this place, for you are in me and I am in you. Together, we form only one person, and we cannot be separated. For your sake, I, your God, became your slave. I became your son. I, the Lord, took the form of a slave. I, whose home is above the heavens, descended to the earth and beneath the earth. For your sake, for the sake of man, I became like a man without help, free among the dead. For the sake of you who left a garden, I was betrayed to the Jews in a garden, and I was crucified in a garden. See on my face the spittle I received in order to restore to you the life I once breathed into you. See there the marks of the blows I received in order to refashion your warped nature in my image. On my back, see the marks of the scourging I endured to remove the burden of sin that weighs upon your back. See my hands nailed firmly to a tree for you who once wickedly stretched out your hand to a tree. I slept on the cross and a sword pierced my side for you who slept in paradise and brought forth Eve from your side. My side has healed the pain in yours. My sleep will rouse you from your sleep in hell. The sword that pierced me has sheathed the sword that was turned against you. Rise, let us leave this place. The enemy led you out of the earthly paradise. I will not restore you to that paradise, but I will enthrone you in heaven. I forbade you the tree that was only a symbol of life. But see, I, who am life itself, am now one with you. I appointed the cherubim to guard you as slaves are guarded. But now I make them worship you as God. The throne formed by cherubim awaits you. Its bearers swift and eager. The bridal chamber is adorned. The banquet is ready. The eternal dwelling places are prepared. The treasure houses of all good things lie open. The kingdom of heaven 
has been prepared for you from all eternity. Our Redeemer suffered and was buried for us in order to rise again. With sincere love, we adore him. And aware of our needs, we cry out to him. Christ, our Savior, your sorrowing mother stood by you at your death and burial. In our sorrows, may we share your suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ our Lord, like the seed buried in the ground, you brought forth for us the harvest of grace. May we die to sin and live for God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, the Good Shepherd, in death you lay hidden from the world. Teach us to love a life hidden with you in the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, the new Adam, you entered the kingdom of death to release all the just since the beginning of the world. May all who lie dead in sin hear your voice and rise to life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, Son of the living God, through baptism we were buried with you, risen also with you in baptism, May we walk in newness of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, healer. Let us pray in loving confidence and providence that you may continue to strengthen and guide us during this time of difficulty in great need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, your own Son, our brother, Jesus the Christ, freely walked his path to you. By your grace, let us be with you in his spirit. Raise to new life our small hearts, that we may pulse in harmony with his, open to all, feeling for all, prepared to labor in love to the end. And at that end, may the light of Easter morning shine upon us and upon all of your daughters and sons. For if you have loved us so much, how can we not give ourselves in return? In your spirit, Father, open our hearts with the lance of your love, a wound that will never close, an invitation for all to come and rest. We ask this through Jesus, our brother and Lord, now and and forever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And gracious God, in your goodness, we pray that you raise up all of your faithful people, buried with him in baptism, to be one with Christ in the eternal life of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And let us go in that peace of the Lord.